Senior correspondent Terry Malefsky has the answers tonight. Terry. Uh, Peter, the Harper government touted this as Canada's biggest ever procurement, a whole new navy with a fleet of new warships. But now the cost is turning out to be double what the Conservatives said it would be, meaning a multi-billion dollar headache for the Liberals. The shipbuilding plan was always too big for its budget. Hundreds of millions had to be added just to start work on some smaller ships and to get ready to build a fleet of full-size warships. That part is still a decade away, but the Trudeau government is now discovering that the budget is already way out of date. But they do, unfortunately, uh, have to inherit a situation where what was originally articulated uh, simply doesn't seem workable. Two, one. Real-world experience suggests that he's right. The Australians got sticker shock when they built three new warships, like the ones Canada's planning, and each one cost three billion dollars. That's with the same high-tech weaponry that Canada wants. Some of the most advanced maritime warfare capabilities available. All very impressive, but at three billion a copy, Canada's 15 ships would cost 45 billion dollars, a long way from the 26 billion budgeted by the Conservatives. And a decade from now, it'll be much more. Which may be why, in the election, the Conservatives began to adjust their promise of 15 ships downward. We've given a range between 11 and 15 surface combatants. Uh, that's uh, that's quite a lot of flexibility for planning purposes, recognizing uh, that, that costing will likely change over time. Hey guys. But the costing has already changed massively, which complicates Justin Trudeau's own election promise to save money on fighter jets and increase the shipbuilding budget instead. We will be able to guarantee the delivery of current procurements for the Navy. We will keep those promises. But most experts see no way that Trudeau could save enough on fighters to find the billions that he'd need to keep the shipbuilding plan intact. No surprise here to most people who have been following this. There's a significant funding issue. Um, this question of what the government actually wants to do. So the shipbuilding plan seems to be on a collision course with reality. It means buy fewer ships or spend billions more. Tonight, in a statement, the Defence Ministry leaves its options open, saying it may take years to decide the actual number of ships to be built. Peter. All right, Terry, thank you.